You are watching Places. Every Tuesday, we bring you an insightful look into fascinating events from all around the world. Today, we're looking at why Estonia is the country of the future. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello, Aluxers. We're sure all of our viewers love going digital and are crazy about the power of the internet. Well, in today's video, we're going to take a look at an entire nation that has transformed itself into a digital community and is set to become the country of the future. We know you're excited to learn more about what a digital future could look like for all of us, and you might be surprised to learn that digital residency is actually a thing. By the end of the video, we'll show you how to do it, but first, let's cover the basics. Introduction as some of you may already have guessed, when we say the country of the future, we're referring to Estonia. And for those who are hearing this name for the first time, don't worry, we got you covered. Estonia is a tiny country in Northern Europe that regained its independence after the fall of the Soviet Union in 1991, and since then has transformed itself into a safe, convenient, and flexible digital society by the power of the internet, and now is calling itself E-Estonia. Be it public services, healthcare, taxation, economy, or manufacturing, in Estonia, everything is digitized, which makes everyday life easy, hassle-free, and reduces cost and time for everyone. The Past Unlike the majority of nations where digitization is limited to the private sector and most governments are reluctant to use new age technologies, in Estonia, the government has realized the power of data and made early efforts by investing in information technology and digitizing the public services. The transformation started in 1997 with the introduction of e-governance, which at that point in time was a necessity since the newly formed nation did not have enough resources to create a fully-fledged bureaucratic system like their other European counterparts. Also, the government saw this as an opportunity to create a more efficient system in order to channel the growth of the country. And today, Estonia has become one of the most economically successful of the European Union's newer Eastern European members. Today Today in Estonia, 99% of public services are available online 24-7. 30% of Estonians use i-voting, and the country estimates the reduced bureaucracy has saved 800 years of working time. Each of the 1.3 million citizens in Estonia has a digital ID that provides access to all of the digital services, ranging from banking to healthcare, saving time and tedious red tape processes. The digital ID consists of embedded files, which stores all the relevant data of the individual. Today, Estonia is set to become the Silicon Valley of Europe. Currently, it houses 550 startups, and there's a yearly growth of 30% in startup sectors. The country also hosts four unicorn companies, including Skype, which was completely curated in Estonia with the help of foreign capital. How it works Well, you might be wondering how the country manages so much data on a daily basis. The answer is a distributed data system called X-Road, where data is exchanged instantly upon request, providing access 24-7. The i-voting facility gives citizens freedom to vote from anywhere in the world, while the e-taxation system helps you to pay taxes online in 3-5 to five minutes, which is why 95% of all the tax declarations are filed electronically. Apart from digitizing governance, Estonia has also developed IT systems that have increased accessibility and efficiency in healthcare, education, and security, making everyday life better. Since 2008, 95% of the data generated by doctors and hospitals has been digitized. The patients own their records, and the doctors can access them from anywhere in the world and make better informed decisions for their patients' treatment. 
the Educational Digital Revolution in Estonia aims to implement modern digital technology more efficiently and effectively in learning and teaching to improve the digital skills of the entire nation. In fact, Estonia expects that by 2020, all study materials in the country will be digitized and available through an online e-school bag. This education system definitely sounds like one for future generations. In order to protect the citizens efficiently, employees of the security services are using digital services too and are now able to remotely determine 35% of the locations of accident victims to within a 5-meter radius, and 93% of emergency calls are answered within 10 seconds. Estonian police are no longer allowed to stop cars for technical checks, as all the relevant data is available using their onboard computer. This has made their police force 50 times more efficient. The country has also made it legal to test and use self-driven cars in order to improve transportation, making it safer and more efficient. What's more, on any day in Tallinn, the capital of Estonia, you can see package delivery robots. Believe it or not, they walk there. Since the majority of processes are digitized, the country relies on a huge database, and in order to protect the same from cyber threats, Estonia has implemented blockchain technology to ensure safety and integrity of all data collected. The country has also become the home for NATO's Cooperative Cyber Defense Center of Excellence and has become the leader in cybersecurity. Cybersecurity has become one of the biggest concerns we face today, and every giant company is actively tracking what you do online and using that data to alter your behavior. That's why we partnered with the great folks at NordVPN. We've negotiated an exclusive VPN deal tailored to our community, where you get three years of online security for the price of one. We recommend you take full advantage of this opportunity and go to alux.com VPN and sign up using the code ALUX to take control over what you do online today. E-Residency in the hopes of boosting the national economy, Estonia has opened up its digital borders to the world. In just a few minutes, you can become a digital citizen of Estonia, and it takes just a few hours to incorporate your new paperless EU company, and it all costs just a couple of hundred dollars. Since all taxes are digital, you get to make all payments you owe online, making it perfect for digital nomads, freelancers, or those of you who consider yourselves citizens of the world. So, if you're a tech-savvy millennial who believes that going digital is your birthright and you want to make your life faster, easier, and better, then Estonia is the country of the future. This graphic showcases Estonia's digital journey so far and what they're looking into next. The Future Having become the leader in digitization, Estonia is now focusing on moving basic services into full digital mode, so things are done for citizens automatically and invisibly by the use of blockchain and AI. In the future, Estonia is hoping to bring a real-time economy into reality, wherein the financial and administrative transactions connecting citizens, businesses, and the public sector entities are in structured, standardized digital form and increasingly generated automatically and completed in real time. This can lead to solutions like real-time payments, EID services, real-time e-invoicing and e-receipts, automated and real-time accounting and VAT reporting, automated credit and investment risk evaluation and processing. All of these can hugely benefit digital single markets by directly saving the costs. Estonia is looking to go 100% transparent with everything concerning the citizen and the way the country runs. The rest of the world has a lot to learn from this tiny nation, but the real question is, is the model replicable in bigger countries? The governments of bigger countries can surely not make their size an excuse and not embrace the wave of digitization, otherwise advancements in the private sector will outpace them. 
While this is true, one must remember that the model of e-Estonia can't be directly replicated in other nations since the socio-political environment in Estonia is very specific and well-suited for a digital economy to thrive. But this has not stopped the Estonian government from offering to license their digital infrastructure to any country willing to use it. Question. Because we have such a large international audience, we are interested to know, on a scale of 1 to 10, how digital is your current national government? Leave your answer and the country you're from in the comment section below. And of course, as a thank you for watching this video until the end, you get a bonus. Here it is. In 2007, Russia launched a full-fledged countrywide DDoS cyber attack against Estonia after the government decided to remove a Russian statue from its capital city. They targeted everything from governance to banks to media. This sparked such an outrage from the Estonian government that since the 2007 attacks, they've been world leaders in cybersecurity. The event also paved the way for a new fighting ground focused mainly on cyber warfare. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.